With respect to the strange theories about the assassination, there are so many, and I address them all in the book, cover, all, cover them all. But if I were to pick out one, the one that takes the so-called cake is David Lifton's book, Best Evidence. David Lifton, uh, a meticulous researcher, I'm sure he's a nice fellow, but he came up with this cockamamie theory while the president's body is being flown on Air Force One from Dallas, Texas to the nation's capital. And the casket is in the back of the plane, and who's sitting next to the casket the whole trip? Jackie, the president's wife, and close members of JFK's staff. They're there the whole trip. And according to Lifton, some conspirators, he doesn't say who they are, but some conspirators went back there, opened up the casket. I'm not making this up. You can't make up stuff like this. It's too far out. Opened up the casket, removed Kennedy's body from the casket without anyone noticing, and put the body in a baggage hold. Then when the plane arrives at Andrews Air Force Base outside of Washington, D.C., and everyone's deplaning from one side, on the opposite side, these conspirators are removing Kennedy's body, and there's a helicopter waiting there to take Kennedy's body to Walter Reed Hospital. Who's at Walter Reed Hospital? A team of surgeons whose job it is to rearrange the bullet wounds to make it look like the shots came from the rear where Oswald was, and they claim really the shots came from the grassy knoll. And then they got the body back to Bethesda, got it back into the casket in time for the autopsy. Now, I would think that insanity like that would be laughed at. <clears throat> Was it laughed at? No, it got good reviews. Ended up number five in the New York Times bestseller list. So David, you know, just uh, took a solitary journey into uh, dementia, you know, and uh, he's a bright fellow, and uh, I, th I think he's honest, I think he's sincere but his theory is just preposterous.